Hello Gemini, happy weekend to you. It's Friday. I hope you're going to have a beautiful, relaxing weekend. Gemini, this is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. You want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of, concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Gemini. Universe, please step into your very clear and important messages for the sign of Gemini, for Gemini's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for gemini in their life and how is gemini currently doing on their soulmate journey what's coming up for gemini in their life and how is gemini currently doing on their soulmate journey wow your soulmate wants to take action towards you. Yeah. You're tired. You feel drained in this relationship. You feel unappreciated, unloved, unreciprocated. You feel like you're going through too many emotional roller coasters, ups and downs. You wish that they would meet you halfway, show you clear sign that yes, they are on board that they want to work on this relationship. You, you're going to be meeting somebody new though, Gemini. Somebody new entering your life. You're going to decide through your free will actions whether you want to give the soulmate uh, that you're letting go of at this time a new beginning or somebody else a new beginning. That's going to depend on your free will actions, what you decide to do. You know, was, please show us. What's coming up for Gemini and how is Gemini currently doing on their soulmate journey? <sighs> you feel betrayed in your relationship. Mm -hmm. There's something going on with your family. So there's drama in the family. <coughs> Certain things are being hidden, um, not disclosed on purpose. So there's something you're not aware of that's being hidden from you on purpose. Yeah, also at your job, drama at your job. Ugh, you feel exhausted uh, when it comes to dealing with your soulmate situation and your job situation. A lot of drama, you're doing other people's jobs. Yeah, don't do other people's jobs. New job offer is showing up here for you. That's good. Yeah, you're walking away from a relationship that you feel is toxic, that you feel betrayed in. Yeah, unloved, unreciprocated. You're going to find out the truth. Whoever it is that is in your family and at work, creating drama, gossiping, manipulating, you're going to find out the truth, who it is and what they're doing behind your back. Yeah, you see, fights for power at your job or business. So there is fights between a bunch of people, gossip of serious nature, because it's five of swords, not five of wands, um, fighting for power. You feel like you always have to be on guard with your coworkers or whoever it is you work with. You feel like you always have to be on guard and defensive. Yeah. This is you being a pro at what you do. You're very good at what you do. So you do have jealousy towards you. You know what that means? When somebody's jealous, that means you're doing something right. Keep being positive. Keep being passionate. Don't let negative people affect you, Gemini. Let's see. Universe, please show us. A lot of chaos around you from other people. That's draining you. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Gemini. And how is Gemini currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, look how defensive you feel. Very guarded with your emotions, but you see very clearly what you need to do. You just have to trust yourself. 
<clears throat> yeah, you feel stuck in these situations. You're not stuck unless you truly believe you're stuck. <clears throat> New love offer showing up here for you. This is you seeing very clearly what you need to do, that you belong in a healthy relationship, not toxic. This is you healing your heart. Yeah, let's see what's going on with that soulmate. A lot of chaos around you from other people, a lot of drama. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Gemini that Gemini is not in touch with at this time. And how is that soulmate of Gemini towards Gemini at this time, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with that soulmate of Gemini? And how is that soulmate of Gemini towards Gemini at this time, especially emotionally? Very strong message here. Yeah, so both of you feel drained. Both of you feel like you need to communicate with each other. <clears throat> they want to reconcile with you. That's what they really want, reconciliation. So they don't want to let you go for good, no. They don't know. Is that reconciliation going to happen or not? They feel they need to do something. You see, they're holding a pocket watch, which tells me that they feel they don't have much time, that they need to act soon. <clears throat> yeah, but they're very slow to action. This person is very slow to action, but they're planning to come towards you with a solid offer. Let's see their subconscious position. Uh-oh, what happened? You both feel betrayed in this relationship. Seven of Swords again, but this time uh, from bigger tarot deck. So this is secret, betrayal, lies, deception, shady behavior, manipulation, deceit. So you guys need to communicate with each other openly, effectively. Face-to-face -face communication is the only way to communicate effectively, especially after disagreements, arguments, fights, and breakups. None of that text messaging, drama, or emailing, or FaceTiming, no. Face-to-face -face communication needs to happen to resolve this, to figure out if this is truly over, or if you want another chapter with each other. Yeah, communication needs to happen, open communication on both sides, yeah. Wow, universe, please show us. Hmm. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Gemini that Gemini is letting go of at this time? Ooh, what happened? This is not good. Seven of Swords and the Devil. This is not a good sign. So something toxic is showing up here that's concerning me. Uh, yeah. Secrets of serious nature. Uh, wrongdoings. Toxic energy showing up here. Yeah, this is not good. No. Mm -mm. look at this judgment judgment on top of each other so both of you want to reconcile you have to be careful who you trust who you consider your friends to be because some people are gossiping about you yeah be careful because some people are putting uh gasoline into the fire so to speak and are gossiping yeah be careful who you trust who you consider your friends to be. They're trying to wait patiently to see if they need to take action now or later, if they need to wait for you. They're confused. They don't know what you're thinking, feeling, because there's problem with communication between you two. This person loves you a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. But they don't express it, don't show it. It's like they hold back their feelings, emotions, Oh, this is not good. No. So there was betrayal of serious nature. Three of swords, heartbreak, the devil, and seven of swords, betrayal, deceit. Shows infidelity. So whether they were unfaithful or you were unfaithful or you were both unfaithful, you know your situation. Uh, so there is serious reason to let go of each other for good. Yeah. Wow, this is this is not good. Yeah, betrayal of a serious nature, infidelity, cheating showing up here. They're very scared. They're very scared that this may be over. There's a lot that you don't know. Uh, a lot of hidden things are showing up here. 
They're very concerned because they view a single available attractive, someone who is a catch. They know that if they view it this way, so do others. They're concerned if they wait too long, you're going to be in a relationship with somebody else. <coughs> so, <clears throat> hmm. there was infidelity in this relationship. Yeah. Hmm. <coughs> I'm trying to understand why people still do this. Why people still cheat doesn't make any sense. No, <clears throat> and it's really bad. It's like uh, disease. People cheat, and they think that that's acceptable. That this this doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Universe, please show us mm, that there will be no repercussions for that behavior. That the person is not going to find out. Universe, please show us amazing what people do still. Universe, please show us hmm, what's going on currently with that soulmate of Gemini that Gemini is letting go of. They feel sad, empty without you. Yeah, this was a serious relationship. Whether you were married, engaged, planning to be married, living together. <clears throat> You see, this person has been in and out, in and out of your life, confusing you with their wishy-washy behavior, not communicating effectively, not expressing emotions, not making a solid commitment. You don't know how badly this person wants to fix this, but the question is, will they? Will they take proper actions? Uh, wanting, desiring something is one thing, but... Uh, Making it happen is another thing. They need to take proper actions to make this happen. They can't just wish things uh, for things to happen, right? They need to take proper actions, be proactive, right? Um, Gemini, I hope this reading will help you greatly. I wish you a great relaxing weekend. I love you lots, and I'll talk to you next time.